how you're perking. I hope you're perking good. So, predicting James Charles's minor drama for 15 minutes straight. That's what this is. I can't. I couldn't think of anything else. That's what this is. So, <laughs> let's dive right into this. Okay, let's 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 make a start. <laughs> I am a licensed mental health clinician as well as a spiritual intuitive and in these videos we take a look at the tea with the tarot. These videos are always meant to be helpful not hateful so if you're down with that join the family here. We'd love to have you and oh pink sweater today check her out. She got a lazy eye but hey hey we ain't gonna pick on people for for stuff they can't control. <laughs> she got herself a lazy eye. And she's wearing some white eyeshadow today. Trend setter. Trend setter. Good girl. <laughs> Old pink sweater. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And check the notification bell if you want to receive notifications for videos. But check back on my profile because YouTube dropped the ball. Join. This is the join button if you want to be a part of the perk squad. There's also a link in the description box below for you to copy and paste in case your join button's not there. The perk squad gives you five extra perks. You get to have custom emojis that you get to use in chats and live streams here on my channel. Then you get to have a badge that shows a color for by your name to denote how long you have been a member of the perk squad. If I can get that out. All right, <laughs> third perk. You get exclusive posts, exclusive videos, and do 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 video shout outs. Like this one. Shout out to you, Strawberry. I love the name. <laughs> Strawberry. Two, two different words. Strawberry. Love it. Love the name. And shout out to you. Shout out to you. You're always very, very sweet to me. Very, very kind. Very sweet. Oh, well, it's the, hence the name. Maybe, maybe that's where it comes from. But anyway, thank you for being a part of the Perk Squad and shout out to you. Alrighty, y'all. So, it is, in case this matters, 5.08 p.m. on Wednesday. What is it? Wednesday, March 31st. Okay, I don't ever know what date and time it is anymore. I don't know, do y'all? <laughs> I can't keep up with this shit. Um, anyway, uh, that's that. We show that here just in case it matters sometimes. But I have some videos here that I'm about to show. I went through, I literally went through three videos from the past over the past year and sat there and cut out segments along the way where, you know, there was a period of time where all everybody wanted to do was say bad crap about James Charles. Then there was a period of time where he got redeemed and he came from the heavens and everybody was like, oh, bless his little heart, you know, these people were wrong and they were rude. And now, like, as of me speaking today, people are kind of getting a little bit back towards the bandwagon of something must be wrong here. There's a pattern. This ain't cool. Um, and so these videos that I'm about to show you clips of are videos during the time where people weren't allowed to say anything negative about him because um, it was during the time where he had redeemed himself and we were supposed to, you know, turn our gaze upon other people and away from him. But the cards kept coming up with some stuff. And I have to say what I see. I can't squeeze things out of the cards that aren't there. But if I see them, I say them and I don't hold back. And I was just curious about this the other day, like, you know, damn, if my cards haven't been saying this stuff for some time now, back when we weren't supposed to be saying these things, but, you know, it's all alleged, it's just a girl pulling cards, just my interpretation, but yeah, uh, in light of the fact that this week there's been some other things cropping up, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and play these these video clips from the past year um in order where the cards were given some hints on some things so stay tuned
I don't know what this is, but somehow, some way, James Charles is stuck between a rock and a hard place um, with something that he knows. Uh, because that's that, that's that, um, that sword's energy there. That's mental energy. That's knowledge. There's something that he knows, and he's in a tough spot with it. Again, here we go with that Four of Cups. Sometimes that's our damned if we do, damned if we don't card. So... Mm, he's he's not as free in this as some people would think he's he's still more entangled in this process than people would think here we have a card about hidden secrets there are still things he hasn't yet revealed um that the the world doesn't know he knows things uh mm. He's having a hard time deciding with that, and he doesn't want certain information to be released. Ooh, yeah, see, remember, this is our swapping of hands, like information sharing from one person to another, not, not wanting that to happen, not wanting any information to be shared from one person to another. Hangman hey, upright, this is like... Um, feeling like part of me needs to kind of surrender this information. Part of me feels like... I don't want to the knight of pinnacles upright um this is kind of like this is the slowest moving knight in the deck so again when we're talking about information bringing information forward there's a possibility that information will be brought forward whether it's brought forward by James Charles or brought forward by someone else but it seems like in the past with Dramageddon 1 and 2, things just boom, happen so fast. And then it seems like here with Dramageddon 3, remember in my previous videos, I was like, it's kind of a slow evolve. It's kind of a slow evolve. And it has been. This has been something where things come up here, come up here, come up here, little by little over the course of weeks. This wasn't like one big coming to a hilt. It was sl a slow build. And this card is kind of saying more of that. So we will continue to see some things, some information and stuff trickle in. This is a bit of a slow evolve, but it's not done yet. The process is not done yet. Um, there's more There's more to do. Hmm. James Charles? Ooh. So this card, he's trying to make plans, having a hard time figuring out what to do. Judgment card in reverse. He doesn't want to be judged publicly by by what he knows. Um, mm, who is this? Okay. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to put this to the side because what? There, okay. There are some other people that know this information too. There are some other people that know this information too. At least one other female besides Tati, at least one other female besides her knows this information and at least okay at least two other males besides Jeffree Star and Shane know this information and so the the female that knows this information too is someone that's kind of um, generally a well-liked person, you know, soft feminine type person. The men that know this information, the two other um, guys that know this information, um, they seem very similar in energy, but one is a little bit more on the emotional side and one is a little bit more on the kind of go-getter, uh, ambitious type side. Um, and yeah, that's probably the best way I could I could describe that. So there's other people that knows this that know this information. Um, but again, this card is kind of a suppression card about things not really being able to move forward, communications not really being able to go out. With the world card in reverse, it says that this isn't over. Um, so more things are meant to happen 
along this process. We really see that card in reverse. Dang! So soon in this? So soon, we're only nine minutes in. And we get the justice card in reverse. What I'm seeing here, the justice card in reverse talks about things going on that do get legal involved and that it doesn't necessarily go well per se. Um, hmm. There are some things that could be shown that would make James Charles not look good. Um, it would make him, uh, you know, it, it would just make people kind of be like, what? Dude, why didn't you X, Y, Z? And I think that there are some things that um, James Charles allegedly wouldn't want us to know um, because it would start making people consider some of the rhetoric that that has been tossed around about him in the past and he he wouldn't want people to start having concerns or wondering if any of that could possibly be true even in a far-reaching way is there any way that some of that could possibly be true <laughs> god the first card again, I get the Justice card in reverse. Again. And the World card in reverse again. Uh. Okay. Hmm. I'm pull I'm gonna pull more on this justice card in reverse, y'all. Hmm. There's that Queen of Cups again. Who is that Queen of Cups? Okay, I know y'all can't see all of those that I pulled them up. Um, I'll show you. But with the Justice card in reverse, so once again, we get the Justice card in reverse. We had already gotten that. We, it came up again. Um, and that talks about legal things going on. And it's when you get the Justice card in reverse, it does sometimes imply, and again, all of this is alleged, but it does sometimes imply that there are things that um in the eyes of the law don't look good Ugh. so we will put that out there um it seems just from what i've seen in the cards allegedly that the things that maybe don't look so great on James Charles's side that's kind of getting suppressed out here from from what I've seen again in these little cards is that he may have allegedly poor judgment as it relates to the things he says or does with people um, that he may have poor judgment in terms of who he's attracted to, poor judgment in terms of how he vets people to make sure this is a good person to try to pursue. You know, like there, there are some things that he has a proclivity to, to do allegedly from in here that looks like, you know, dude, you could do better. Like... For real, you could, you need to kind of sh shape it up a little bit better, kind of thing. In terms of the world card being in reverse, remember this is the it's not over card. So, yep, problem in something related to career, in a shitty situation. The Three of Pentacles card in reverse, again, making me feel like there's some extra like there's some there's some extra voices in the room that make things 
um, worse or like get in the way or are like could be cause could cause problems. Shoot. Oh god, that flew out, so now I don't know. Upright or reverse. Okay? Sideways. Upright or reverse. Upright. And it looked like it came upright a while ago. So the tower card upright. This is a card that ranges from just talking about, hey, this is dramatic, this is another drama, to like, no, this is kind of bigger than just another drama, like this is something that's kind of serious and um, can actually make some impacts in people's lives. Um, and that is the concern here. Like, as we're talking about trying to move away from this devil energy of negativity as it relates to actual issues worrying that somebody is going to be able to manipulate the narrative and into a certain direction and that that would cause some major disruption in somebody's lives is what I'm seeing but twice now we have seen this justice card and we have seen lawyers and we and so it's like there there are things actually legally in the works with this if not now if not yet then there will be stuff actually legally in the works and again you know with legal stuff things may happen behind the scenes which you know kind of as it should if there's something sensitive like this and there are allegations and accusations made in that vein it should be handled you know behind the scenes with the appropriate uh professionals to deal with that so i don't even think that that's a bad thing um it's only bad in the in the um aspect that we may or may not know the full extent of things because we may or may not be privy to hearing about the full extent of things but there like when i get that justice card in reverse there's something there that is actually worth like looking at legally and there's some some legal stuff here that is actually There's, there's, in, involved. There's some, something legally. Um, this is him moving forward uh, to protect his career. That's what we're looking at with this emperor card. So he does look like he's anteing up right now to protect his career some type of way. However, however, we do get this fool card in reverse, which talks about recklessness, and we get this star card upright which talks about his ability to try to start new from recklessness. So, the spirit guides here are agreeing with people who say that his behavior is reckless. Now, whether it's legal or illegal, again, right now, I'm not talking about that. Talking about it being reckless is what they're saying. With that justice card spin there um it's looking like james charles has some things to worry about legally with this uh mm. that didn't look good for james like he he actually has stuff to worry about with this um and there <laughs> this card in the reverse position comes up as my fuckboy card um so I wonder who they're calling a fuckboy in this case actually that's interesting who are you calling the fuckboy in this case okay James Charles so um cause James Charles always comes up as this, this swords energy and again this is talking about the, tying it into things Trying to back away out of some stuff, needing some sort of apologies. Again, getting legal involved some type of way. Let's see if it does this. Let's see, legal for James Charles. In the reverse, legal for TikTok. In the upright. So, 
He may not get what he feels like he wants out of this. He may not get what feels good to him out of this. It may feel like a bittersweet type of ending for TikTok. But legally, there is something he has in his corner on this. So, y'all, what do you think? What do you think? You see that? You see that? Um, in one of the one of those videos, I can't remember what it was. It said that in the future there may be some things where he has to like actually hold himself accountable. There may be some um, bigger things to happen, possibly some legal things to happen. Um, and I think even in one of the videos, uh, there's was like maybe an apology to come things like that so who knows if any of those things are going to come to pass i didn't include them here because um they haven't happened yet uh at least for me sitting here um so i guess we'll stay tuned and see what unfolds and my hope is that people that know better can do better that is what i am hoping here so, anywho, if you'd like a private reading with me, my uh, link for my website is in the description box below, beestalksandtarot.com. Um, you can schedule it yourself, and we're, out, we're also having an April special um, right now, because April is my birthday month, yes! Hashtag Aries. <laughs> uh, so it's my birthday month. And yes, happy birthday to all of you Taurus folks as well. Um, but my birthday month. So I'm doing a, um, a little special on there for people who have just one question. And they want to just do a 15 minute quickie with just that one question um, for a discounted price. So if you're interested in that too same thing website um anywho there's everything else on my website too um but i will come back at you we will have more stuff going on this week uh we'll see where this goes and where other things go and good god and we'll see what old pink sweater decides to wear <laughs> what kind of eyeshadow looks do they want to sport the rest of this week we'll see we'll see <laughs> I think I think that um they went with the white because I have the little white specks in the middle of my animal print here. So, you know, last time they wore some yellow tried to match mama and I think we're trying to match mama again just in a less matchy matchy way, in a coordinating way. We don't have to match all the time, we just coordinate, right? Right? Okay. It's hot in here and apparently my brain is frying, so I'm gonna head out now. But don't be a stranger. Come back and see me, and I will talk at you later. Bye, love you, mean it.